Well, I have seen this reoccurring theme on social media this past week. I have seen it like maybe 15 times and I don't know if I missed the conference, if they didn't invite me to the group chat or what have you, but I have seen it a lot and I just wanted to address it. A lot of people are saying things to the effect of, I can either show you my cards or show you my hand and still win. Or people are saying things like, I don't mind sharing with people what I've done to be successful or everything that I've done to achieve a goal or achieve what have you because what's for me is for me. I've already worked hard, I've already done what it takes to accomplish my goals and I'm doing my part, what have you. But I'm gonna keep it very, very real with you guys. As someone who does this for an actual living, I will tell you that the reason why people don't mind taking your money every day for their webinars, for their coaching, for whatever else they're trying to sell to you, their, their talks that they're having, their conferences, the reason why they don't mind taking your money and telling you every single thing that they've done to um, do accomplish what they've accomplished or to give you all these vendor lists that they have accumulated together. The reason why people don't mind sharing all this stuff with you all in the information age is because they know you're not going to do anything with it. If you were going to do something with this information, you wouldn't be asking these people, hey, what did you do to get here? What steps did you take? You would be taking those steps. You would be figuring it out. And that is something that really irritates me about social media. It's very helpful and very useful if you use it the way it should be used. But people will see people who appear to be successful or who will, they see people who have accomplished goals and all they see is the glitz and the glamours. They don't see the sleepless nights. They don't see the fake friends that have presented themselves. They don't see the broken relationships. They don't see the lost weight. They don't see the failures. They don't see the disappointments. They don't see any of that. They see that one accomplishment and they say, I want that. If she can do that, I can do that. Tell me everything you did to do that. First of all, you're not about to talk my head off asking me a thousand questions about what I did to get to where I am. If you wanted to do what I was doing or you wanted to accomplish what I have accomplished, you wouldn't be coming to me asking me what I did to get there or what I did to accomplish it. Instead, you would be of value and you would come to me and tell me, hey, I'm working towards this goal too. I've done some research and I found out that you can do this and you can do that. And then me and you will be working together to see how we can both progress. It will be mutually beneficial. That's what people don't understand anymore is mutual, being mutually beneficial. You guys, so many people are looking for handouts. They think that by purchasing this person's ticket to this event or by going to this person's webinar or what have you, that this is gonna bring them success, but you're looking for a handout. There's no hand-me-downs to success. Nobody can hand you down success. You also cannot buy success. If it was possible, we would all be buying success. Success over there, 50 cent. That success is only $2, girl, go get it. That success is only $2, it's on sale. It doesn't work like that. If it did, we would be doing it. We would be buying success. It doesn't work like that. You have to work for it. So if you actually, genuinely, wholeheartedly want to accomplish something, stop wasting my time your time and all these people who you're asking these thousands of questions time and you figure it out because them telling you what they did to accomplish whatever they accomplished is not going to help you do the same it's going to give you some instant gratification you're going to be like dang if she did it i can definitely do it maybe but what i have is for me you don't have the gifts that God blessed me with. You don't have my intellect. You don't have my wit. You don't have my sarcasm. You don't have what I have. You are not me. And that's fine because I'm not you. I don't have the gifts that God blessed you with. I don't have your skills. I don't have the things that you have. So me sitting there and breaking down to you every single step that I have taken to be successful or to accomplish this thing isn't gonna get you there. Additionally, me telling you my vendors, <laughs> me telling you what website I use or what app I did for this or me telling you all those things is not going to make you be successful at that thing that you find me to be successful at because you didn't put in the work. You will never enjoy the fruits of your labor if you don't put in the labor. You can go grocery shopping and buy some fruit, that's fine. We can all go grocery shopping and buy fruit, it's doable. But you will not see a harvest until you put in the labor and you put in the effort to get that success that you are looking for. Asking somebody else what they used or how they did this or what resources they used that might help them, that's not going to be of value to you if you haven't even done any of your homework. 
It's different if you're seeking mentorship. It's different if you're seeking coaching and you're actually taking the steps to improving or to achieving something. That's different. That's being resourceful. Let's talk about resourceful and looking for handouts. There's a difference between being resourceful and asking for a handout. There's a difference between being mutually beneficial and looking for a hand-me-down. I am not your big sister. I'm not giving you all of my clothes. It's not happening. I can't hand you down my success because guess what? I'm still working towards it because I want to be better. I want to improve. I want to achieve goals bigger than one could even imagine. And I'm not asking Oprah, oh, hey sis, what did you do? What did you do? I'm not asking Oprah that. I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to get there. And then it's going to happen for me because it's for me because I want it. And nobody can stop me. What's for me is mine because I'm taking it. I'm not asking her what did she do. I don't care what she did. She ain't me and I damn sure ain't her. I don't need to ask her what she did. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it well. And the same thing goes for you. Stop asking me all these questions. If you want coaching, that's one thing. Stop spending your money with these people who are just giving you all this information because you're not gonna do anything with it, but keep paying their bills. And that's fine, let them get their hustle on, but not off of you. Figure it out, do your research. Ever heard of Google? The number one search engine in the world. Ever heard of YouTube? The number two search engine in the world. Search talking with Tamaya and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. But that's all I want to leave y'all with in 2019 and beyond. Stop wasting your damn money paying these people to give you all this information that you're not even going to use. You're wasting their time, my time, your time, and you could be using that time, energy, and money to invest in your own real dreams because clearly what you're asking them about is not your dream <laughs> because if it was, you wouldn't be asking them. You would be taking the steps to make it your reality. So let's focus on that in 2019. That's all I have for you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you guys want to see any more videos, hit me up in my DM. Let me know. Um, and I'll try to do some more for you guys. It's talking with Tamaya. And I'm always just talking at y'all in posts. I never come and talk to y'all. So I'm really trying to work on that. So yes, yeah, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys later or something. Peace out.